Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Lifeline Church's Midweek Mentor. My name is Mark Meyer and I am an associate pastor at Lifeline Church and it's a pleasure to be with you here today. Um, I'd really love to share with you a devotional that I went through on the YouVersion Bible app with some friends of mine. Uh, some of you may remember it. Now, I know that these past mid midweek mentors, they've, they've been killing it, right? We've got all the good teachers here at Lifeline. But uh, this one really spoke to my heart, and I think that it's very pertinent for the things that have been going on lately and how it can, it can feel a little heavy at times. So the title of the devotional is called Bloom Where You're Planted. And the idea is based around the parable of the vine and branches in John chapter 15. And it's just a beautiful parable that shows how we're connected to Jesus and God. So I think I'll start by just reading out of John 15. It says here, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in me. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. So again and again, he talks about how we need to remain in him. So we can tell that, uh, you know, you go around the yard and you prune branches off a tree. You prune the ones that are gangly, the leaves are dried up, or if it's a fruit tree, the fruit is, is not producing. And we also know we need to thin the branches on a fruit tree so the fruit will be good and sweet. But it's just a great way to see how we have to remain in Him if we're going to be fruitful. And I love this visual picture as God, the Father, being the gardener. The fruits produced by the vine are the result of the inward working of the Holy Spirit. And we as believers are the branches. It's a clear picture of how we all fit into this, you know? And the gardener, God, God the Father, plants believers all over the world. He has deliberately planted you and me right where we are. He wants our branches to reach people for Him. So just think about where you are. Wherever you're at, you can be the hands and feet of Jesus. So not everybody has been called to be a missionary on the other side of the world. I think that's awesome. But the majority of us have jobs, we have kids, uh, husband or wife, and we've been called to bear fruit in just right where we're at. So we need to bloom where we're right where we're at. Bloom right where we're planted. So also it's easy to maybe see that um we read this and we say, oh, well, this is just for people in ministry, the people that work at the church, you know. But um, this is really a call to believers in, in every field, every occupation, and every city around the globe. As we're connected to Jesus, we'll carry the influence of Christ to our workplaces, our schools, our neighborhoods, and our communities. The work of the Holy Spirit of God helps us accomplish God's purposes in our lives, no matter where God places us. You are not here by accident. I, I've heard people talk about how Lodi is just a dead-end city. You know, I live in Lockford. You could really say that about Lockford. <clears throat> but I believe God specifically placed me here to be a light. And that actually reminds me of another scripture I wanted to bring up to you guys. Where is it at here? Five. Matthew 5.14. It says, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. 
Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Now let's talk about the current events that have been going on just in the last week, not to mention with the COVID-19 for the last couple months. Now I've seen people with the full spectrum of emotions on the coronavirus and then also with this um, terrible situation that happened in um, <clears throat> Minneapolis and and the things that have happened since then and I see people that are acting kind of uh, indifferent towards it uh, they shrug it off and they continue to live their lives it's one way to deal with it some people have, it's really affected them and of course the people that are directly in it and being just severely affected by it what a great opportunity for us as the body of Christ as uh, Christians to be the light of the world to be that city on a hill or to be that um, that candle that's placed up high to, to shine the light of Christ in this hard time I just think it's such an exciting time to be a Christian not that we're perfect by all means I I need this scripture just as much as anybody and I need to be encouraged just like I'm calling you to encourage people so our job as believers is to stay connected to the vine and to trust God as he leads us and as he shows us how to bring his love and hope to our world we are blessed so that we can be a blessing to others as we stay connected to Jesus the vine will represent the love of Christ to every person in our paths and our branches will reach the world one community at a time. Let's bloom where God planted us, okay? Hey, I hope this blessed you. I hope you enjoyed this, and you'll tune in next week for another episode of the Lifeline Midweek Mentor. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this has blessed you, because I think that someone needs to hear it. So share the love and share the link. God bless you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.